Hi there, friend. This is Lee Posky. I'm sharing this message to strengthen my brethren who are disheartened. My brethren who are disheartened by their experiences with lukewarm people who claim to be Christian. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. You encounter someone who claims to be a Christian, and they'll reference a church that they go to or a church they used to go to, and they'll toss in some superficial Christian shatter for good measure. And you think to yourself, great, I have someone to fellowship with. I can't wait to visit with this person about the Lord. And we can share with each other what God's been teaching us. This is fantastic. Only to find that when you try to engage them in real, meaningful Christian dialogue, they abandon you. They want nothing to do with you. And sometimes you even catch glimpses of them snickering at you for your zeal for Christ. What's that all about? Well... 1 John chapter 4 says this, If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And Jesus said in Revelation 3, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the, and, and, excuse me, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Did you notice how Jesus prefers that a person either be cold or hot? The lukewarm, the lukewarm person that Jesus will reject are the Christian posers like we're talking about here. Notice how Jesus describes them as lost people who are wretched and blind, and he counsels them to be saved, to be clothed in his white raiment. So friend, understand that just because someone claims that they're a Christian, that doesn't mean that it's so. In fact, most of the people that I've encountered who claim to be Christian are nothing more than lukewarm posers. They don't want anything to do with you. And that's because they know that a prolonged conversation with you will, will reveal what frauds they really are. In fact, 2 Corinthians 2 tells us this, For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved, and in them that perish. To the one we are the savor of death unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life. Friend, your regenerate spirit is a source of agitation to them because they abide in spiritual death. Learn to accept what God tells us in Revelation 22. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And finally, in Matthew 7, verse 6, it says this, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under your, their feet, and turn again and rend you. All right. Well, I hope this has helped you, dear saint, and I thank you for giving me some of your valuable time. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ, and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.